And we're learning more this morning about the Bronx shooting that sent four people to the hospital last night, three of the victims teenagers. Fix 11's Karen Dillon is joining us live from the scene with the very latest. Good morning, Karen. Well, this quadruple shooting here in the Bronx has left neighbors and residents concerned. We can tell you, though, that this morning police tell us that this is not a random shooting. It was targeted. But exactly how many of the four victims were targeted and why, that's still under investigation. The hail of bullets broke out in the West Farm section of the Bronx just before 6 last night in front of this deli at 921 East 180th Street. Police believe two or three men walked up to the deli and opened fire. You can see at least a dozen bullet casings were left in the aftermath of the shooting, and officers spent much of the evening investigating and collecting evidence. Some residents heard the shots. Loud um, gun sounds, you know what I mean, and people like shout, shouting, just seeing people like, ah, and then running this way, running that way. And I looked out my window and saw the poor man doubled over that was shot. Four people were shot. They include a 62-year-old man who was grazed in the face. A 14-year-old was shot in the legs, as was a 15-year-old. And police say a 15-year-old was shot in the leg and rear end. According to the NYPD, there's been more than a 50% drop in shooting incidents and shooting victims in the last month, compared to the same period last year in the 46th precinct where the deli is. This quadruple shooting has now changed that. The violence has left residents scared and angry. I'm just fed up. Is it? I'm fed up. I lived here for five years, and honestly... It's been like this on and off, you know? No, this, is, I mean, this is like the third time I've seen cones in front of my building. So no arrests have been made. Once again, police are looking for two to three male suspects. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers immediately. As for the victims, police tell us this morning that everyone is in stable condition.